Published in 2003, the novel, The Kite Runner, achieved huge success and spent nearly two years on the bestseller list. A few years later, playwright Matthew Spangler worked with the book's author, Khalid Hosseini, to bring the story to the stage. Difficult to comprehend now, in the 1970s, Kabul, Afghanistan was a place of urban vitality, a satisfying playground for children, as we find in the opening scenes of The Kite Runner. Hassan and I would chase each other with green free, play tag, hide and seek, cops and robbers. It was a beautiful place. It was cosmopolitan. There was a thriving middle class. Uh, you know, the vibrancy of life then really hit me. The Kite Runner is an adaptation of Khaled Hosseini's best-selling novel of the same name, now being staged at regional theaters around the country. It follows the tortured path to adulthood forged by Emir, the privileged son of a wealthy Afghan. Elaine Von Hoog is the director. It's a memory play. It's about Amir traveling deep inside his memory and conjuring all these things from the past up. It's wrong what they say about the past, about how you can bury it, because the past claws its way out. Like the book, the play spans 30 years, moving from Amir's idyllic childhood to a Soviet invasion onto Taliban control and then to his emigration to the United States. Matthew Spangler is the playwright. There's so much in it. Um, you know, it's a story about global politics. Uh, it's a story about immigration. It's a father-son story. It's a story about two best friends. It's a love story. It's a story of redemption. It was Spangler who approached Hosseini to adapt the novel and with the author's consent, the pair worked in concert. He read drafts of the script and uh, we would meet and he would have suggestions. Uh, the, about 90% of his suggestions were things that he would have wanted to change if he was rewriting the book today. For instance, in the book, the bully whose violence saddles Amir with a lifetime of guilt was half German and half Afghan. Here, he's simply an Afghan. Answer me when I ask you a question. But that was something Khaled wanted to change. He said that there was a bully in his neighborhood who was half German and half Afghan. But people don't know that, and uh, Khaled feared that folks might just see that as sort of cheap shorthand to the bully, to the bad guys, if all bad guys are half German. Largely, though, the heart of the novel remains intact. A rebuke, Spangler says, to Afghan stereotypes. Specifically that it's a place of violence and poverty. I mean, it does have its fair share of those things, but it's a lot of other things as well. And I think Kite Runner uh, points to those uh, other things. Most vividly captured in the kite fighting scenes. He held the kite high over his head. I jerked our string twice. Hassan tossed the kite and it was rocketing toward the sky. Yeah. That's about the community coming together. That's about uh, different generations coming together, men, women, you know, upper class, lower class coming together for this incredible event. It is a cobble lost to history, but for the page and stage. Fans of the novel, The Kite Runner, will be happy to learn that Khalid Hosseini's book, The And the Mountains Echoed, will be out this May. To find out more about this and other works by playwright Matthew Spangler, visit matthewspangler.org.